welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question why pharmaceutical company performs product recall answer is recalls ensure that defective or potentially harmful products are removed from circulation to prevent health risk and comply with regulatory standards reasons include contamination incorrect labeling presence of harmful substances defects in packaging or adverse effects discovered after the product is on the market what are the different levels of product recall as per fda there are three different levels of product recall as per fda these are class 1 recall class 2 recall and class 3 recall we are going to see in detail about this different level of recalls in upcoming questions what is procedure for product recall there are mainly nine steps of product recall these are first detection second assessment third notification fourth strategy fifth public notice sixth retrieval seventh correction eighth verification and ninth reporting why pharma companies perform voluntary product recall the main reason behind voluntary product recall is consumer safety that is to quickly remove potentially harmful products from the market protecting public health other reasons include regulatory compliance reputation management minimize financial impact and corrective actions next question what is statutory recall a statutory recall is a mandatory product recall enforced by regulatory authorities due to safety violations or health risk unlike voluntary recalls companies are legally required to comply with these directives to ensure public safety and regulatory compliance what is fda's guideline for product recall title is product recalls including removals and corrections edition march 2020 which guideline from cdso guide for product recall answer is guidelines on recall and rapid alert systems for drugs including biologicals and vaccines version 2017 document number cdso/rras version 00 what are the different levels of product recall as per cdso guideline the level or depth of recall of a product or batch shall be determined based on recall classification and level to which distribution has taken place as per cdso different levels are first consumer or user level second retail level and third wholesale level what is class 1 recall a class 1 recall is the most serious type of recall it involves products that pose a significant risk of causing serious health problems or death examples includes contaminated food or drugs with incorrect dosage labels what is class 2 recall class 2 recall involves products that may cause temporary or medically reversible health problems or where the risk of serious health effects is remote examples include under strength medications not used for life threatening conditions what is class 3 recall class 3 recall involves products that are unlikely to cause adverse health reactions but violate the fda's labeling or manufacturing regulations examples includes minor packaging issues or labeling errors this one is very frequently asked an important question question is what are the timelines for product recall procedure first for immediate notification notify regulatory authorities within 24 hours of identifying a significant health risk secondly for recall initiation begin recall actions promptly often within a few days of notification third for public communication inform consumers and stakeholders as soon as possible typically within a few days to a week for product retrieval aim to collect recalled products within 30 days depending on the recall scope and distribution network for corrective actions implement necessary corrections or corrective actions within 30 to 60 days and finally for final reporting submit a final recall report within 60 to 90 days after completing a recall actions what is the purpose of 21 cfr part 7 for product recall 21 cfr part 7 ensures that pharmaceutical companies follow standardized procedures for recalling products to protect public health and safety by providing a framework for efficient and effective recall processes what are the different timelines for effective recall system and rapid alert as per cdsco guideline as per cdsco guideline 
based on the category of risk involved a timeline of within 24 hours up to maximum of 72 hours for class 1 recall for class 2 recall up to a maximum of 10 days and for class 3 recall up to maximum of 30 days is allowed what is requirement for mock recall as per cdso guideline as per cdsco guideline mock recall shall be carried out for at least one batch of any product dispatched for sale where maximum distributors are involved to test the effectiveness of the arrangement of recall records of such mock recall should be maintained by the qa head of the company what are the key components of a recall strategy Notification, communication, risk assessment, effectiveness check are the key components of a recall strategy. How are recalls communicated to consumers and healthcare professionals? Recalls are communicated to consumers and healthcare professionals through press release, letters, emails and direct notifications. What is the purpose of conducting effectiveness checks during a recall? The major two purposes of conducting effectiveness check during a recall are first to ensure successful recall and second to safeguard public health. What documentation is required during a product recall? Documentation of recall strategy, communication efforts, effectiveness check and corrective actions taken required for product recall. What are the consequences of failing to execute an effective recall? Legal trouble, bad reputation, government problems, risk to people's safety are the major consequences of failing to execute an effective recall. What are the main challenges companies face during a product recall? Public relation management, supply chain disruption, regulatory compliance, financial implications and damage to legal liabilities are the main challenges that companies face during a product recall. How does the severity of the risk determine the urgency of a recall? High risk products needs immediate action while lower risk products may allow for more controlled or phased recall. Last but very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for product recall in the pharmaceutical industry? FDS guidelines like 21 CFR part 7, CDSO guidelines, EMA guidelines, ICH guidelines and WHO guidelines are commonly referred for product recall in the pharmaceutical industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.